Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Outer Banks, as well as learn about the features and other 2021 Ford Bronco Sport configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The redesigned Ford Bronco is a significant addition to the Blue Ovals lineup. After more than two decades, Ford aficionados will finally see the return of a body-on-frame off-roader intent on beating the Jeep Wrangler at its own game. But what if you want Bronco styling and abilities in a more road-friendly and affordable package? Enter the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Based on the Ford Escape, the Bronco Sport aims to marry the look and feel of the Bronco with traditional crossover strengths, including a more refined road-going experience. The Bronco Sport should still hold its own when venturing off the beaten path, thanks to standard four-wheel drive, multiple traction settings, and a wealth of optional off-road upgrades. Standard on the base, Big Ben, and Outer Banks trim levels is a turbocharged 1.5 liter three cylinder engine with 181 horsepower and 190 pound feet of torque. You also get four wheel drive and an eight speed automatic transmission. Upgrade to the off road oriented Badlands or First Edition, and you'll be rewarded with a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that makes 245 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque, plus a more off road capable four wheel drive system. Aside from its more unique and expressive styling, the available off-road goodies might be the reason why you choose the Bronco Sport over the Escape. With standard four-wheel drive along with slippery and sand traction control modes, every Bronco Sport model should prove to be quite capable at navigating tricky terrain. The Bronco Sport interior is very similar to the redesigned Ford Escapes. Front and center are an upright 8-inch touchscreen, chunky infotainment knobs and buttons, and straightforward climate control knobs. The center console features a rotary transmission selector, plus assorted buttons governing the drive modes, parking brake, and other controls. Just because the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport is geared toward active lifestyles doesn't mean the tech offerings suffer. All trims will come with Ford's Copilot 360 suite of active safety features, which consist of Ford collision warning, automatic emergency braking, a blind spot monitor, and lane keeping assist. The Copilot 360 Assist Plus option adds lane centering, adaptive cruise control, and navigation to the mix, while Copilot 360 2.0 adds traffic sign recognition, allowing the adaptive cruise system to alter speed based on the observed speed limit. The 2021 Ford Bronco Sport is a little more civilized than the Bronco, but this compact crossover can still do the job when pavement turns to dirt. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. It's an SUV. It's a crossover SUV uh, that's based off of the Ford Escape. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at that. But real quick, before we actually get started and jump into it and learn about the features and all that, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. For instance, during that overview, I talked about the Ford Bronco and I talked about the redesigned Ford Escape. Well, I've done build and price reviews of both. And that brand new 2021 Ford Bronco, yeah, I just did the build and price review on that. And that's a great video. Those links are in the description below. In addition, I talked about, you know, obviously Ford's going after Jeep. And Jeep makes other other Jeeps, other trail-rated Jeeps besides the Wrangler. They make the Renegade, the Grand Cherokee. Uh, this... Uh, the Bronco Sport competes against the Subaru Crosstrek, the Forester, uh, the Chevrolet Trailblazer, and at the high end, uh, the Range Rover Evoque. So lots of competition, lots of other vehicles that this uh, Ford Bronco Sport competes against. All those SUVs I, I just mentioned, I've done building price reviews of, and all those links are in the description below. So after you watch this video, make sure you watch a few of those as well. All right, let's check out these uh, trim levels here. So we got base model, we've got base, we've got big bend, we've got outer banks. The reason why I like the outer banks, the reason why we're going to do a building price of the outer banks is it's the first one into the leather interior. So I like that. 
First one into the leather interior, and I'm all about that. Then you got the Badlands, and the Badlands is really about the most, trying to be the most rugged. And of course, you have the first edition. So we got what? How many? One, two, three, four, five. We've got five trim levels of 2021 Ford Bronco Sport SUV. So five configurations. Look at this. We can check out the exterior colors. I mean, it totally looks like a Ford Escape. If you're interested in the Ford Escape, like I said, check out that video I did. I did a 2020 first look review of the redesigned Ford Escape. I still need to do a building price, and that's actually going to be next on my agenda. So if you're not subscribed and you want to check that out, subscribe to the channel so you know and hit that notification thing so you know when I actually post. Uh, so this one is called Cyber Orange. We just did a walk around, a virtual walk around. This color is called Cyber Orange. Area 51. When I did the Bronco yesterday, I did the building price of the 2021 Bronco yesterday, uh, and I did it in Area 51, so I like that color. We've got the uh, Shadow Black, Alto Blue, Rapid Red. Everybody gets a black roof, it seems like. Cactus Gray, uh, Carbonized Gray, Iconic Silver, Oxford White, and it looks like some shade of brown. Yeah, Kodiak Brown. That's not even working. Let's check out this photo gallery, right? Let's check out the, ex the exterior and interior photos for the 2021 uh, Ford Bronco Sport. And then after that, let's start going through the features. And then after we go through the features, then we'll do our building price of, look here, the Outer Banks, right? They're showing the Outer Banks right here. So, yeah, we're just really just basically checking out the exterior. And, and I'm going to be real here. I'm going to be real honest here. Uh, I don't like the Ford Bronco Sport near as much as I like the Ford Bronco, right? It just looks like they've just tried to have make it have some Bronco cues, and it, it's not really working to me. It, it, it's kind of ugly like a Jeep Renegade ugly, and if you don't know what a Jeep Renegade looks like, go down in my description below and click my video on the 20, uh, 20 Jeep Renegade Latitude that I, did a, that I did a building price on. You'll see what it looks like. Uh, but you know, it's got all the, it's got all the outdoor utility. How many people actually use it like this? Who knows? But they're letting you know, just like Jeep, that it can do all these things. Cause if you go to the Jeep website, then this is what it looks like on the Jeep website, how hardcore it is when the reality is most of these things are sitting in the city. I guess, I don't know. Uh, here they're showing all the water fording they can do. And we're going to learn about these features in a little bit. That's why I'm not slowing down to learn about them now. So Yeah. These are all the exterior photos. Let me go ahead and speed through them. Oh, look, they got an optional what? Probably an optional secure code keyless entry pad. I'd rather just have keyless entry where you just walk up and you grab the handle and the door just unlocks. I'd rather have that instead. Uh, so, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Good deal here. All right, let's move on. Now we can check out, should be, hopefully, the interior photos. Let's find them. All right, here are the interior photos. Right, they're showing the Sync 3 with the 8-inch touchscreen. Great, comes with a bottle opener, <laughs> apparently. Under seat storage, lots of stuff, lots of utility. It's not attractive in there. I don't think it's attractive in the Bronco Sport at all. But, yeah, uh, you know, to me, they're reaching with this particular model. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. But we're going to do a building price of it for sure. Uh, yeah, God has a lot of features on the interior. I'm going to give them that. But like I said, we're going to go through all this stuff because we're going to actually check out the features and go through uh, the features pages here in just a second. So, yeah, they got a lot going on. I mean, if you're into the outdoor stuff, they're showing you that there is a cubby, a space uh, uh, for everything. All right, so we've gone through all the exterior photos. We just finished up with the interior photos. Let's go, and we already looked at the exterior colors and stuff like that. We went through the models, but what we should do real quick before we actually check out the features, let's go do this. So I don't know why this Badlands image won't load. It's been trying, It's been spinning for a minute. And I noticed that actually yesterday when I was prepping for this video, I noticed that uh, that uh, it was still spinning. So at any rate, we got the base model, the base model Ford Bronco Sport, because I wanted to cover prices really fast, because the other page did not show prices. We got twenty six thousand six sixty is your base model for the base is your base price for the base model. The Big Ben next model up twenty eight thousand one sixty. The Outer Banks that's the one we're going to build in price now uh, on the channel today. That's 32,160. The Badlands is 32,000, 
660. So you're not getting much more over on the Badlands uh, over the Outer Banks. And then last but not least, you have that first edition model, and it's a whopping 38,000. Okay, so we've looked at the exterior colors, uh, we went through the gallery, uh, we've learned about some of the uh, competition and all that. Let's go over the features. Let's go over the features of the 2021 uh, Ford Bronco Sport. They've got four categories. Here's capability features here. They've got interior features here. They've got exterior features, and then they have technology features. So let's take it from the top. Let's start with capability features, see what they have to tell us about the uh, what the Ford Bronco Sport can do. Uh, so here, down here, well, let's start from left to right for starters. And they have this set up as individual slides, so let's look at it as individual slides because it'll make it easier to focus. So here they're talking about the, the Bronco Sport can take you where the fun is with water fording capability, ground clearance, and a high-performance off-road stability suspension system that they call HOSS. H-O-S-S. There's something that they call GOAT modes, which is a terrain management system uh, that comes along with this standard 4x4. Because remember, every trim level, every configuration of 2021 Ford Bronco Sport has four-wheel drive. Now, the Badlands and the first edition, I think, uh, well, it tells us anyway here that the Badlands has even more capability. So it can take you places that only you've ever seen as a screensaver. So, yeah, let's move on. So there's at least five modes. I think there's up to seven modes of, of, of those uh, traction of the terrain management system. I'm sure we'll learn about it. Here, they're not really saying anything besides saying that, uh, that the Bronco Sport will get you where you want to be. And I would think for most folks, that's to, to work, to the store, and home. They're really pushing this, uh, the abilities of the Bronco Sport. Here they're just telling you that this thing is good on all kinds of terrain. Sand, rock, water, deep water, water fording, uh, snow, and mud. Here there's a few more slides telling us about the capability features of our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport that we're reviewing today and doing a build and price on. Here they're talking about the 4x4 system. We know it's standard on all the Broncos. And down here, really, they're just basically saying that the Badlands uh, has even more four-wheel drive and can take you to other places more confidently. Here, finally, we can find out about those GOAT modes. GOAT stands for, it's an acronym that stands for Go Over Any Type of Terrain. Uh, it's a terrain management system with five standard modes, sand, slippery, sport, eco, and normal. Now, the Badlands, that must be the one that's the hardest core one, uh, has two additional modes, mud and ruts and rock crawl. There's an available trail control. The word available means that it's an option and it's not standard. Uh, it's a class exclusive and it works like uh, cruise control. And you can set your speed when driving off-road to focus more on where you place your wheels and all that kind of stuff there. So that's that's kind of cool. I like that. And here, honestly, they're just they're simply purely talking about the the trim level, the Badlands trim level, telling you that it's got the advanced 4x4 with the twin clutch rear drive unit and more goat modes and all that stuff. It's it's the hardest core version. If you want the hardest core off-road version of the Ford Bronco Sport. Apparently, it's the Badlands. All right, so let's talk more about off-road stuff because that's what this is all about with this vehicle. Off-road hardware. What are they going to tell us here? Uh, we've got the Haas suspension. We already learned about that. Uh, we've got the all-terrain tires. Got it. We've got uh, front tow hooks. Yep, there they are. Mm -hmm. And what's this here? Bash plates, right, to protect the underbody from getting all crushed up. Here's some quick specs. Uh, 7.8 inches of ground clearance and 23.6 inches of water fording ability. Right? That's pretty cool. Here's something else. Do we have any other? Yeah, they're just talking about the ground clearance and the water fording here. Here they're going to talk about these engines. So we know there's two engines. There's the 1.5 liter EcoBoost. That's what's going to come on our... Um, on our uh, outer banks that we're going to build in price, or you can get the two-liter EcoBoost. It's only available. The EcoBoost is only available on the Badlands and the first edition, but it's the one with all the power: 245 horse, 275 torque. Uh, but uh, but the 1.5 liter engine, it's it's not too bad. It's no slouch, right? 181 horse. Okay, that was the capability features.
Uh, now let's hit up these uh, interior features for the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. They got three notable features down here. Uh, seating for five with best in class first and second row headroom. We're starting from left to right. Here in the center, they say available best in class volume on the base, big bend, and outer banks models. And then over here on the far right, ease when you return. A tough and easy to clean interior. There you go. Okay, maybe they're going to go over some interiors here. Because here they're showing the Bronco Sport base. And they're telling you some of the features. Like it's got the cloth bucket seats. And 60-40 split folding flat second row seats. And, and USB ports and all that. That's the base. Here's the Bronco Sport Big Bend. And... Here's the Outer Banks. This is the one that we're focusing on because we're going to do the building price on the Outer Banks. So the Outer Banks emphasizes refinement in the interior with standard heated leather trim front bucket seats, second row 60-40 split fold flat seats, and heated leather wrap steering wheel. To add to the experience, there's an available, so it's an option. Available Outer Banks package, and that'll give us the power moonroof, wireless charging pad, give us the 10-speaker B&O sound system by Bang & Olufsen, uh, and HD radio technology. Here they're talking about the available power moonroof that you can get. Uh, here they're just basically showing the flexible car cargo storage. Uh, I'd rather have my bikes on the roof rack on top, but that's just me. Uh, here they've got some other notable interior features like safari style roof, uh, a cargo management system, uh, under seat storage, and fold flat second row seats. And it does look relatively flat. Here they're showing you some versatility of the interior. To me, it just looks like uh, more gallery images. So we're not going to really mess with that. Here, what are they showing? They're showing more uh, features of the interior, like the camp table. The ex class exclusive zipper pockets with mole strap system. I don't even know if I said mole. I don't even know if I said that right. I don't even know what kind, what that even is. I think that's the, is it that like, I'm not even sure. You tell me in the comments if you know. Uh, power converter, uh, bottle opener. They're just telling us some interior features. Rear floodlights. You can see them up there on the, under the underside and the interior door there on the, on the hatch door there. All right, let's check out the exterior features. So we did the interior features. We did capability features. Here we are on exterior features. And then after that, we just have uh, technology features. So here, starting from left to right again, they're talking about the Instant Classic. They're just talking about the the look. And I don't think – and th the Bronco looks way better than the Bronco Sport. I'm sorry. The Bronco Sport's not really attractive to me. Uh, here in the middle, they're talking about the 8.8 inches of ground clearance and all that stuff in the water 40. 26.3, was it, I think, uh, for the water 40. Uh, and it's and far here on the far right, it's uh, we got the available roof rack and available tow hooks and safari-style roof. This is, you know, so you can equip the exterior for the unpredictable is basically what they're getting at. What do we have here? Uh, they're just showing us things that you can, exterior features, right? Mud flaps. We know about the keypad and all that kind of stuff. All-terrain tires. We know that you can camp in this thing. I, w I, I wouldn't be doing it. That's just me. Uh, here are some other notable exterior features. Cargo on roof while driving. Tent on roof while static. Yeah, there you go. So the 600-pound static load capacity means you can set up camp wherever you stop. You can hold 600 pounds up there. or That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and here, uh, that roof uh, cargo thing can is 150-pound dynamic load. So that's also pretty cool. Can't talk about off-road off, uh, off driving without talking about stuff like departure angle, breakover angle, and approach angle. 33.1 degree departure angle, 20.4 degree breakover angle, and 30.4 degree approach angle. Uh, let's see. And then they're just showing you some off-road exterior. Here's some other features. We know about that. We know about the ground clearance, okay? Especially with the bad lenses they're talking about specifically here. Uh, they talk about wheel arch moldings and rocker panels so you can uh, protect the body of the vehicle. And they also talk about the metal bash plates for underneath so you can also protect the underside surface of the underbody and all that stuff when they say you're out in the wilderness i don't know how many of these are going to truly be out in the wilderness but yeah all right let's move on so that's a nice shot there i do like that shot let's move on we've gone through everything let's just click this technology tab then after we go check out this technology stuff then we can actually do the build and price 
All right, so what do we got for tech here? Uh, available off-road tech like TrailView camera. Uh, there's the standard Ford Copilot 360 and other available drive assist technologies. I went over that because they have upgraded levels of that 360. Uh, there's the 8-inch touchscreen with standard connected technologies like Ford Pass uh, and Sync 3. Uh, here they've got some little things that we can click here to learn what? The B&O sound system. Uh, what else? The 8-inch touchscreen the Sync 3 infotainment system, and this must be uh, the wireless charging pad. Yeah, there is a picture, and the wireless charging pad. What else do we have here for notable technology features? There's breadcrumb navigation, uh, the dropping virtual breadcrumbs along the way, I guess it helps you remember your route, voice-activated touchscreen navigation, and a 180-degree camera. Uh, here's some other driving technology. This is part of that Ford 360 Copilot stuff. This is the auto high beams, uh, the bliss. This is the blind spot information with cross traffic alert there. We got the lane keeping assist right here. And then this is the Ford Copilot 360 Plus, 360 Assist Plus, which gives us, I guess, these three things. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go, evasive steering assist, and navigation with Sirius XM traffic and travel link. That was actually part of something that was actually below this. That's the Ford Copilot 360 Plus Assist Plus. So we just learned about that. The other couple of features of the uh, Ford Copilot 360 was uh, what? the We did the lane keeping assist, the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking called AEB, lots of acronyms, and then the rear view camera. So yeah, then there's the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus. Then there's the Ford Pass Connect. This gives you your 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, remote start system. Uh, schedule your remote start. Really, you can schedule when to start your vehicle. Locate your park vehicle. Uh, check vehicle status as well. All right, so you know what? I think we actually went through all the features of the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Now the moment we all been waiting for. Let's actually go do the build and price of the uh, of the Outer Banks. Okay, here we are on the configurator for the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. We're gonna do the Outer Banks. I like the Area 51 color, same as the Ford Bronco that I did. Uh, you only get one choice of wheels, one choice of tires, and then really there's just a bunch of I don't know to me kind of just accessories sort of kind of to me. I know they're not accessories, but they just kind of seem like it. You got splash guards and fender flare kits, uh, remote start system, which we which is included on our model, roof rail crossbars if you want that stuff, and a bunch of mud flaps. We have the reverse sensing system that's already checked. Under the interior, you've got what? The ebony and brown, or you could do the navy pier. Really? I thought it was going to be something like maybe like black. So they went with a brown or a navy for your leather interior color. All right. Well, anyway, you got the cargo mat. The cargo mat thing is kind of cool, actually. I'm kind of into the cargo mat because that's really protects the back end. So I do like the cargo mat. Again, This they call this interior options. To me, these are accessories because you can pick this stuff up at the dealer. To me, this is dealer install stuff. You've got... On-road and off-road assistance kits, first aid kits, bike racks, floor mats, you know, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, like I said, cargo management systems with a shelf. This is all stuff that you can get after the fact. So we're not going to mess around with most of this stuff. Uh, there's a center console vault. You might want that if you really are going to be out the trail. I guess you can lock some of your valuables, I guess, in your car, I suppose. Uh some of the standard features we do have are the leather seats, six-way power leather seats, and the heated leather wrapped steering wheel. Let's upgrade to the Bose audio system, or the B&O audio system, sorry, not Bose. And to do that, we have to add the Outer Banks package, which is $1,600, and that's fine. We'll get to the packages in a few, but that package is going to probably give us all kinds of stuff, the wireless charging, uh, the navigation, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's get in on that. Uh now we have the upgraded audio, the Sync 3, the Sirius XM radio. Uh, we have the 1.5 liter motor, 8-speed automatic transmission, standard 4x4. The equipment group, this is the standard stuff. 
and then here are those packages. Now, here's that Outer Banks package, and here's what that included for us. That gave us that Bang & Olufsen 10-speaker sound system, HD radio, powerless uh, moonroof, and the wireless charging pad. Then there's the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus. We don't need those three extra things. There's the towing and sway control. I don't plan on doing any towing, so we're not going to get that. And then the rest of the stuff is just accessories, tents, and stuff like that. So, yeah, where are we at on the price? $35,380. Honestly, I have mixed feelings about this. If, if, if I was going to get a Bronco, it's going to be the regular Bronco, and I'm just going to have to save up my pennies and get a little bit more Bronco. I think I might. I don't, I don't really think the Bronco Sport is that attractive. I get it. It's probably a lot more capable than a Ford Escape, but it's really just an Escape with some different panels on it. I don't know. It's just not attractive to me. But it is what it is. It's $35,000 out the door for the Outer Bank. So if you happen to like this, it's $35,000. Get it with the leather interior and all that there. Not a bad price at the end of the day. So there it is. We did a building price on the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the very next video.